guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86, and I'm looking at the Mogo Pro. Now, this is a loaner to me so that I could compare it to the Mogo Average Joe, I guess. I gotta say, for the most part, we're looking at a lot of the same. Almost everything design-wise, sound-wise, remote, the same Android TV. It's all the same inside Mogo Pro as it is on the regular Mogo, with some small differences being the DLP chip is a much nicer DLP chip that projects 1080p at a slightly brighter increment. Now, in some of my side-by-side -side comparisons, it's hard to tell that there's any brightness difference, but I'll have to kind of add that to the fact that we're not up scaling pictures where it looks a lot lighter. We've got a lot more dynamic blacks going on in the 1080p version than we do in the actual Mogo version. But for the most part, we're looking at the same Harman Kardon speaker. We're looking at the same remote with voice activation with the same Android TV and just a whole lot of the same, just a slightly different image. And by slightly, I guess I shouldn't say slightly because the 1080p definitely looks a lot better. But if you're interested in knowing a little bit about the actual Mogo, I did do a video on it and I was going through a mic experimentation phase. So I'm sorry if the audio is not great, but be sure and check the card wherever it pops up or go down in the description below and go watch the original Mogo video. Now there is one thing I didn't cover in the original Mogo video that people have pointed out that I'd like to cover here. How loud do the fans get? So we'll pause here first and I'll show you how loud the fans are by using a decibel reading device or a sound meter in order to show you what the ambient room is and then what it is with both of them turned on, not at the same time, but side by side. They are very quiet projectors. That, that's something that's highly appreciated by me, at least. I'm sure anybody would appreciate a quiet fan projector. Now, ways to kind of point out or to articulate to you that the 1080p does have a much better image quality versus the 540p version is the fact that screen door is less pronounced than the 1080p. It's almost non-existent up close. So pause here and take a look at this. This will be the 540p version versus the 1080p version, and you can definitely see a difference in the screen door, which definitely tells you your image quality is much greater in the 1080p version. That seems obvious, but here's an example. I also shot some daytime nighttime shots too so here it is in daytime with bay windows and um, you know my whole office right here if you can't see these windows are shining into the room that I was recording this on in daytime so you get an idea hopefully of how it looks in daytime with all this sunlight if it was something you wanted to mount somewhere and use to watch on a wall. I even did some comparisons with the Nebula capsule, and I've got to say, both of these MoGo projectors really just blow that Nebula capsule out of the water. I'm sorry, Anchor, but they do. They're also much quieter, don't have that whine. Now here are some nighttime shots. None of the features on the cameras have changed in any of these shots, by the way. They're all using the same settings on the camera for each shot. Here are the nighttime shots, and this is kind of what I mean where the Pro almost looks darker, but I'm going to have to attest that to the fact that it gets better dynamic range at 1080p, and it's not trying to fill in the gaps just to kind of make a bright image come at you.
Now, just as an opinion, if you were to ask me, does it feel brighter than the Mogo 540p? No, not really. I can't tell you a discernible difference in person if I feel like it's brighter, but I definitely think that it has a better image quality. Something that's really hard to show on the camera, but in person, the 1080p one looks a lot better to me when I'm watching it side by side with the 540p version. So again, might be hard to kind of show you in the video, but it's something I definitely notice in person. If either of these projectors are something you've been thinking about or waiting for, hold off for Black Friday where the deal on them will hopefully be a lot better than it is now because they are a little bit pricey. Both of them are a little bit pricey and I hate saying prices because they always change so I'm not going to. And also just to warn some people, I've had some people posting asking questions about, hey, I found the MoGo for 30 and $40. I've been looking into these and I found out these are definitely scams. They're going to take your money and you're not going to get the projector you want or a projector at all. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking this one out. If you haven't seen that other MoGo video, be sure and go check it out if you're interested in other comparisons such as the Harman Kardon speakers and how they sound. And I also cover some other things like problems with Hulu and Netflix. Netflix. XJimmy has addressed in the past that you can sideload Netflix on there to work around that problem and they don't seem to be intent on fixing it on the actual Android TV integrated into the MoGo, but there are some solutions out there for some small problems that it came with. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video. I do have a great day, night, whatever it is, and uh, happy Thanksgiving if I don't see you before then. My old outro is a little bit tired, and until I come up with something new, you can watch me sit here and type at the end of each video. Subscribe! Every time that I see autofocus or quick autofocus or anything in the camera now, the youth has ruined it for me. Because now I translate it to quick as f Be sure and check out these other videos.